Hey, I'm Jose Sanchez with MyFieldTrainer.net, your one place for up-to-date agent news and resources and training. So I was talking to a new agent recently and they were thinking about leaving their current FMO because they weren't making enough money. And during the course of our conversation I asked, well, do you have a monthly budget in place? And they, they looked kind of strange and they said, well, what does a monthly budget have to do with my income? And to that I said, well, you know, if you don't specifically tell your money where you want it to go, pretty soon you're going to be wondering where all your money went. So in order to be a successful, profitable agent, there's a couple of things that you need to have in place. Uh, one is you have to have a monthly cash flow plan. You have to have a budget in place. Two, you also need a tracking system that can track your appointments and how many sales you make per week. And three, you also need to have a yearly income goal. And then take that yearly goal and break it down into monthly goals, weekly goals, and then finally down to daily goals. So all three of these things work hand in hand together. So uh, you know, think of it this way. Your cash flow plan says how much money you need to pay your bills and invest in your business to keep things running. Your weekly activity report says, well, how many appointments do I need to run in order to make a sale? And then your yearly goal, when you break it down into a daily goal, it says, well, out of that sale, this is how much money I need that sale to be to make everything else flow in place. So with all of this, you also need an accountability partner. So that can be your manager, your spouse. You need someone that can hold you accountable to your budget and your sales goals as far as your yearly income and how many appointments you want to run. Now you really need to meet with this person minimum once a month or every two weeks to keep you on track to make sure that everything is going according to plan. So we're going to break this webinar up into uh, three different videos and we're going to tackle each topic one by one. So the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and download the uh, agent monthly cash flow plan, save that to your desktop and we'll go over this in kind of detail. So when you look at the report in the upper left hand corner there's a spot for actual monthly income. So every time you get a commission check deposited into your bank account, you're going to want to start entering in those dollar amounts in these fields here. Over to the right we have projected monthly income. That's how much money I think I'm going to make this month. Now with your first one or two budgets that, that number is probably going to be a little bit awkward to figure out. So what I want you to do is Look at your bank deposits for the last five to six months, total them up, and come up with an average. And then we're going to use that average for the first one or two budgets until you get used to this process. And then once you're used to it, once you, you know, kind of know the secrets, you'll be able to pretty well hone in on how much money you're going to make per month. Now, the budget is actually broken down into different categories. We have categories for charity, for food, uh, clothing, savings, household expenses, transportation. And in each category, there's a column that says budgeted. And what that simply means is, how much money am I going to spend out of my monthly income on that particular item? So if you look down on the bottom of the box, there is a percentage. This is a recommended amount of your income. So charity, you know, we're recommending 10 to 15 percent of your monthly income goes to charity. Food, 5 to 15 percent. Now these numbers aren't set in stone. They just give you a rough idea of where your income should be going. Once you fill out your entire budget, if we scroll to the bottom here, it'll actually total everything up and it'll give you a snapshot. So it'll say you have this much projective income coming in this month. Out of all the different categories, it'll total things up and it'll say, well, these are your expenses. You got money coming in. This is the money that's going out. Ideally, you want this to be zero. You want to say, well, hey, I know all the money that's coming in and I'm going to tell that money to go here, 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 and here. So at the end of the month, I have everything accounted. Now, sometimes when you first start your budget, this number down here may be a negative. You know, you may have more money going out than what's really coming in. And if that happens, don't get alarmed. It's better to know that you have, you know, a, a, a reverse cash flow situation so we can put things in place to get you in a better, a better footing. As the month goes on, you are actually going to start logging in the money that you spent in the columns that say spent. 
So if you went to the movies and it cost you 10 bucks, you'll enter that information in here. And then at the very bottom, it'll say, well, this is what I plan to spend this month and how much I plan to make this month, and this is what actually happened. And remember, our goal is that you want everything to come to zero. You want to know exactly where your income is going, because once you know that, then we can start actually telling our income why I want it to do this and that. So when you get a chance, go ahead and download this, start filling it out. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email or shoot me a call, and I can go more in-depth on this until we get to our next video. All right, I'll see you later.